It was a freezing morning when the school bus carrying 36 children crossed the train tracks about five miles from Greeley, Colorado. The windows were fogged. The eastern sun and the utility poles obscured the bus driver's view. And suddenly, the train hit the back of the bus as it was almost over the tracks. The bus was torn in two. 20 children lost their lives. 16 were injured. So behind me is this wonderful memorial that's dedicated to the children that lost their lives in this horrible bus accident. But it was this bus accident that changed federal law about buses stopping on train tracks. The train tracks still exist and they're right behind me. And I'm told that they're still active, although they're weeded and seem very old, but they are considered still active. I'm going to walk down the road where um, the rest of our group is. Um, the train tracks are to my right and they've changed the road since then because it was so dangerous. So they used, the road used to be at an angle and so when you were crossing over in the bus you'd have to look over your shoulder at kind of a weird angle and you weren't able to see the train coming. So the bus was driving down this road, even though the road's changed a bit since then. Um, but they crossed over, over in this area, and the train tracks are right there. The people I'm with, you can see them sitting on the tracks themselves. Um, and the train came, and the school bus was on the tracks, and the rest is a tragic history. So the bus had already gone over the tracks halfway. halfway. So the kids in the back. You think that exit was the original crossing side? I don't know if it was or not. I doubt it. But with the map that Brooks and I found online, uh -huh. it looks like that's about where the cross would have, the crossing would have been. Just by the angle, you, it yeah. seems like you guys have it yeah. on point. So I'm standing in about the spot that the bus crossed over. And if you look off in the distance, you can see an oil tank and a road just on the right of it. And that is where the direction that the old road used to come down. So just to the right of that oil tank, you can see the road. And it came to where I am and it hooked up with this road right here. So the bus came down this road, crossed these tracks, and it looked like they were, it was clear to go because it was very cold out and their windows were all iced up and he really couldn't see that well. So part of the bus went over the tracks and the train caught the back of the, the bus and killed the children inside.